Okay, so the James Webb Space Telescope, JWST, spotted something crazy on Proxima b, a planet super far away. Basically, scientists are wondering if everything we think we know about the universe is wrong. This telescope found stuff that could totally change how we see things, but is this planet a new Earth or just a death trap? This planet, Proxima b, goes around a star called Proxima Centauri. People have been excited about it, and now the JWST is giving us a better look. We've known about Proxima b since 2016, but this telescope is showing us the real deal. It uses infrared to see through the planet's air, and what it found is wild. Proxima b is super close to its star, like, really close, which means it only takes 11 Earth days to go around it. But Proxima Centauri isn't like our sun. It's a red dwarf star, and those are known to be kind of crazy, and send out huge solar flares that hits the planets around it. The JWST gave us the clearest shot of Proxima b yet, and it turns out the planet is about 30% bigger than Earth, so it has stronger gravity. But get this, it might be tidally locked, meaning one side always faces the star, and the other is always in darkness. Yeah, that's right, one side is always sunny, and the other is always night. That would make it super tough for anything to live there. The sunny side would be fried, and the dark side would be frozen. And it gets worse. Proxima Centauri is way more active than we thought. It sends out crazy solar flares that blast Proxima b with a ton of radiation. One flare in 2021 was way bigger than anything we've seen from our sun. Could even strip away the planet's air. Some experts think there's no way life could survive there, but others think maybe life could adapt. Could there be weird creatures that have gotten used to all the craziness? The telescope also found out that Proxima b might not even have air. Radiation from Proxima Centauri could have stripped it all away, leaving the planet bare. But maybe, just maybe, it still has a thin layer of heavier gases like carbon dioxide. That could protect it a little. The JWST also gave us the best look at Proxima b's surface. It looks rocky like Earth, but it is different. The side facing the star is probably a scorching desert, and the dark side is probably a frozen wasteland. But there's a small area between them called the twilight zone, where things might be okay. It could be warm enough for liquid water to exist, and the existence of liquid water is one of the key ingredients for life as we know it. And here's another thing, what if there are oceans under the surface, like on some moons in our solar system? Those oceans could be heated by the planet's core, and then that could be a good place for life to hide. Also, Proxima Centauri has a magnetic field that might be interacting with the planet, and this could protect the planet some from the sun's radiation. So, there are still lots of questions. Does Proxima b have its own magnetic field? How strong is it? And could life have evolved to handle all the crazy conditions? Basically, Proxima b is a tough place. The telescope is showing us just how hard it would be for anything to survive there. The biggest issue is the radiation. Proxima Centauri is a chaotic star, and it blasts Proxima b with flares that are way stronger than anything our sun sends out. This radiation would be deadly. In fact, that massive flare in 2021 could have taken away any air the planet had. Red dwarf stars are dangerous. All that radiation would make the surface super harsh. Any water would evaporate, and the rocks would be scorched, and the dark side would be freezing cold. There's not much room for anything to live. So even with all these issues, people are trying to get to Proxima Centauri. There's a project called Breakthrough Starshot that wants to send tiny spacecraft there. The idea is to launch thousands of these little ships, each about the size of a stamp, and blast them with lasers until they're going super fast up to 20% of the speed of light. It would still take decades to get to Proxima Centauri, but they could send back data about the planet and its star and maybe help us know if planet Proxima b has life. Even if Proxima b turns out to be a dead rock, it could help us understand where life can exist in the universe. So, Proxima b might not be the paradise we hoped for, but it's an important step in finding life out there. The search for life in the universe is just the beginning. It's a tough planet, but it's teaching us a lot. The James Webb Space Telescope and projects like Breakthrough Starshot will keep exploring, and maybe one day we'll know for sure what's going on there, and maybe we will have to search for planets that are more like our own Earth to find inhabitable life. Maybe Proxima b isn't just a planet to study, but a look into our future.